Good morning, YouTube friends. Thanks so much for coming by. Today, we're talking waffles. Vegan waffles, chock full of protein, super easy to make. You don't even need a waffle maker to make them. Keep on watching to see how we do it. Okay guys, to get our batter started for our vegan waffles, I'm just gonna whisk together our dry ingredients. I've got some brown rice flour, some vanilla protein powder, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and some baking soda. Use whatever flour you've got on hand, any type will do, as well as protein powder, use whatever you've got. I really like Arbonne's brand, but any will do. Now I'm just gonna dump in our wet ingredients. I made a bit of vegan buttermilk, so if you add some apple cider vinegar to any non-dairy milk, it'll kind of thicken up like buttermilk does. And that's also gonna react with our baking soda to get some rise on our waffle. Then I'm adding in a flax egg from this amazing vegan egg substitute. Steve's mom, Julie, gave me this. Her friend actually sent it for me. She does a lot of gluten-free baking and this stuff is amazing. It's actually just flax, but it's milled so super fine that it, it gets even more egg-like and definitely helps with rise and the texture of your waffle so i'm just getting in there with my hands to get the rest of that egg out of there i believe if you milled your own flax long enough in like a little spice blender or your blender you could get it this fine and i think it may be worth trying because <laughs> it really does work really well i'm also adding about a tablespoon of vanilla that's going to give us kind of that belgian waffle aroma and flavor as well and i'm just going to whisk this together and that is it we do want to get our waffles started as soon as possible because that reaction from the baking soda and apple cider vinegar starts to happen pretty immediately. Okay, at this point, you can add it to a hot waffle maker. You can also make pancakes, but if you're looking for a solution, if you do not have a waffle maker and you're afraid to drop the money on one of those Belgian waffle makers because they're so expensive, I have got the solution for you. So I didn't even know these little silicone beauties existed until I watched V on Vegan Region, her channel. She made a vegan chicken and waffles recipe that looks divine. <laughs> you should check it out. And she had this beautiful little heart-shaped waffle mold that she bought online as well. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to try this. I don't have a waffle maker and I love waffles. So why not? <laughs> I've been using this for so many different things. I have got a potato waffle recipe that I am working on that I am so excited to show you guys. But anyway, moving on, I have sprayed this with a little bit of cooking spray. I have found that they demold a lot better if I do spray them. And I'm dividing our batter into the four molds here. This recipe will make four waffles. And then I'm going to pop this onto a cookie sheet just to make sure we don't have any overflow action. I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and as soon as I pop these little guys in, I'm going to turn it down to 350. That way I'm hoping we get a little bit of a sear on the bottom to get a nice crunchy Belgian waffle-like texture. I'm gonna let them bake for about a half an hour. They're gonna look a little bit like dried up mud on one side, <laughs> but on the other side, you've got this gorgeous browned Belgian waffle. So I'm just gonna plate these up. This recipe is about two servings. I make four waffles and Steve will eat two and I'll eat two and we, it fills us up really well. If I am making them for myself, I'll just make four waffles and have two more to heat up for later or you can of course half the batch. So I'm just gonna pile these high and start decorating. There's so many different ways you can eat these. I thought I'd show you a few different ways that are my favorites at the moment. So peaches are in total season right now. Is that how you say that? <laughs> peaches are in season. So I'm loading up these little guys with a ton of fresh peaches. The vanilla and the peach flavor are just so amazing together. I'm also going to drizzle on a bit of coconut glaze. I have a recipe for that in my apricot muffin recipe video. I will link that above and below. It is killer on waffles and pretty good for you. I just sweeten it with a bit of that Swerve sweetener that I'm obsessed with and some vanilla and it is amazing. So I'm gonna pour that on top super generously. And then just because the flavors go so well with the peaches and the vanilla, I am gonna add a little bit of real maple syrup. And because Steve loves it so much and I actually do as well, I'm going to sprinkle on a bit of hemp seed and chia seed that's going to give us a nice texture as well as some added protein 
and some omegas. So, whoops, I kind of went a little crazy, but <laughs> it was delicious. And there you have it. I'm trying to spread those out. That's a lot of, a lot of chia action here. These are to die for. You must try them, especially with the fresh peaches. If you don't have any fresh produce on hand though, I do have some apricots from last season that I just froze and defrosted and did the same thing with. And this is so, so good. Also, you can pre-make these and just pop them in your toaster oven. That's what I did with these. I made them yesterday. Popped them in the toaster oven this morning for my to-go breakfast. And I'm just going to spread on a bit of peanut butter and jelly and a little bit more chia for added protein. And you have got yourself the quickest and easiest delicious waffle sandwich you have ever had. <laughs> Super simple. The sky's the limit. Honestly, go to town. Use different flavors of proteins if you'd like. You could easily make some chocolate and banana waffles. This base recipe is super easy to work with. And there you have it, breakfast on the go, waffle style. Can't complain about that, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.